What's going on, world? I'm Wissy from Make Connection TV, the network, the one channel on YouTube where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. Thank you so much to everybody that checked out my mass shooting Orlando solo video, and for everybody that checked out the Coach Club video. It's so sad, and there's nothing else that I can say about it. There's so many different controversial stories um, being spread throughout the town, talking about there were multiple shooters. It wasn't just one shooter, um, and, and I don't even want to. I don't even want to dig deep into that hopefully I can interview um, one of one of my buddies um, so that we can get the real deal because it seems like the media is filtering the information that we're being um, privy to but outside of that I want to talk about this amazing show that's on MTV and I'm calling it amazing because not every season is amazing but this particular season is pretty damn good they're losing people left and right Leroy always seems to get the short end of the fucking stick, just about all the time. Corey is almost kicked off because he decides to fight Devin, and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, and Thomas and Simone leave, and that's what we'll start off with. Thomas and Simone. We'll start off with Thomas and Simone leaving the challenge because Thomas's girlfriend is going to um, the emergency room, and she's... She's at the hospital, and he wants to be by her side. Beautiful situation, because here today, gone tomorrow. You never know when someone's time is. So, regardless of what you have going on with that person, just make sure you're always there with them. And if something happens, just make sure you're always around, and, and your presence is felt and known, right? Right. Tony is annoyed with Camilla. Now, I'm trying to figure out what the... Fuck is Tony's issue? Like, did Tony try to get the vagina and Camilla said no? Like, I'm not understanding because apparently Camilla is like in Devin, which I can't see how the fuck that works out. But Tony is acting like a three-year-old when you take their candy away or when you take his G.I. Joe away. He's throwing temper tantrums and I'm just like, what the hell is going on? I'm not really understanding, but apparently Tony wants Camilla to cut him some slack and to give him some respect because when they challenge, when they, when they, when they do work together, they can beast through challenges. And he's here to win money, and he's not trying to lose the money, and she's not seeing the big picture. And I'm just like, what the fuck? He's sitting there, they're at a club, and he's just dazed, lost in translation, just daydreaming like about everything that's going on. And she walks up to him and like, you know, what's the problem? And then that's when he goes off. I just want you to respect me. I just want you to realize I'm a man. And I just want you to say attaboy sometimes. I'm like, did he really fucking say attaboy? Really? He wants Camilla, who's psycho beyond psychos, <laughs> to say attaboy. I, I, I was lost. Cheyenne and Corey, they look kind of cute together. They flirting and they doing a little thing, tizzle for shizzle. And I'm just like, I'm not really here for it. I'm not really here for anybody that floats with my man. Because Tony, I mean, not Tony. Corey is my man of my dreams, right? That ass. Devin says, Corey is the first one I'm sitting. So, Devin. Devin, 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 Devin. I don't know if Devin's doing this on purpose. I don't know if Devin's just drunk. But Devin is antagonizing every single person in here, especially every veteran. You're going in, you're going in, you're going in, you're going in, and I'm, you're going in because I said you're going in. And you're going in, and there's nothing you can do about it because you're going in. You're going in. You're going in. <laughs> And I'm like, uh, okay, what is his issue? What is his deal? Like, what the fuck is his problem? He goes up to my boy, Corey, and Corey's like, yo, like, just relax. Just get out my face. Then all of a sudden, Jamie starts spazzing on him. And I'm like, Jamie is kind of like a big dude, like on a thickum side. So you don't want nothing with a Devin. And you know, Jamie's like, sit your punk ass down. Sit your punk ass down. And I'm like, Jamie, can you really, like, what can you really, can you fight? Like, <laughs> I know Devin can't, you know what I'm saying? But, but then again, he probably, I don't know what he can do. He probably got a lot of mouth. But he, he get under people's skin. Like, he's that wigworm under a dog's fur. Like, you know what I'm saying? Them fleas, like, I don't know. Then, you know, Corey started to think about his little uh, show girlfriend, Cheyenne. That heifer. And, uh, no, I'm just playing. I love Cheyenne. She's beautiful. 
I can understand why Corey has a like taken like to has taken a liking to her. And you know, Corey is like, he's doing all this in front of Cheyenne, so let me man up and show him a little something, something. So Corey just comes in and starts pushing Devin, and then on like when I tell you security came so fast to Corey's rescue, because they're like, Corey, we don't want you off the show, we don't want you off the show, you gotta come back, you gotta <laughs> You gotta come back, come back. Like, Corey, what you doing, son? So, you know, they break him up. Devin's like, you're going home, you're going home. Then we back, we fly past this and we're out of the club and we're on the street, like in the parking lot. And Devin's all up on Corey's face. And Devin's like, I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you. Corey's like, I don't want you to be scared of me, bro. I don't want you to be scared of me. And he's like, I want you to do something, do something. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. And Corey goes to take off his shirt, and I guess Corey gets pulled away by somebody. The producer don't want Corey gone. You hear me? Then a the female producer comes in. And she's like, Look, I need you to stop your antagonizing. And Cheyenne's like, Yes, you are. You're antagonizing everyone. You're making yourself look foolish. This is like we were in a couple. Like, if we were a couple, I'd be having a stick up for you. And this is ridiculous, Devin. You know what? Fine, fuck this. I believe she didn't say fuck, because I don't think fuck is in her vocabulary. I'm leaving. I'm leaving in the show. Are you are you happy, you idiotic moron? <laughs> oh shit, that shit was hilarious. And then you know Cheyenne goes storming off. I'm like, girl, she's doing the most. She's doing the, the ultimate most. Then we get um um what we had Devin keeps going off on Corey. Corey says that okay. Camilla and Tony argue back at the house. Tony is drunk as shit. Camilla is chilling. She's sitting there with my boy Nelson. I gotta get Nelson tag. I gotta get Nelson's Instagram. I mean Instagram or his. I gotta get Nelson's Instagram or Twitter. I want to interview Nelson. I want to interview him. Like, like I really, really do. So you know, he's sitting there like, fuck this. Tony's like, fuck yeah, you, 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 you. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? Camilla's like, are you all right? Like, you just need help. You're an alcoholic. <laughs> that passive aggression shit works. Cause Tony's like, fuck this. And he goes and smashes eggs and flings them all over the place. Nelson's like, bruh, if your fist would have touched my face, I'd suck. <laughs> Nelson's so fine. Nelson's so fine. No, Nelson's so fine. <laughs> and then, you know, he goes and throws the eggs or whatever. And he storms out. I'm like, oh, my God. Tony is a Tony is a mess. The next day, Camilla gets, you know, bad news about her grandmother passing. And she's like, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And it's like, damn, this show is so fucking, like, dramatic. Like, so freaking dramatic. So we get to, you know, they gotta, they ride their bike off the, the cliff. They gotta grab flags, it's a little challenge or whatever. Looks pretty cool, but it looks kind of dangerous at the same time because when they go off the bike, the dude behind them, like, they always were collapsing. Like, every time somebody dropped, they ended up collapsing into each other. Nate and Christina got 25 points. Dario and Nicole got 20 points. Nelson, oh, Lord Jesus. I just, I... Tony and Camilla got 20 points. And, you know, they loving each other. And they're like, this is my girl. When we're not doing challenges, we hate each other. But when we're challenges, we're beasting. And I'm like, you didn't even win. Like, what the fuck you mean? Like, Jamie and Kellyanne go to the jungle because they were the worst. They couldn't even stay on their bike. Nate and Christina get told by Nelson and Amanda about going in. So, and Nelson, okay, Nelson, okay. So, here's the thing. Tony and Camilla screwed over Nate and Christina. Nate and Christina had the perfect fucking opportunity to create waves and send one of the veterans home. That's what they should have done. That's what they're supposed to do. Send the veterans home. Why would you want to go up in a final challenge against Bananas and Sarah? Why? Why would you? Against Jenna and Vince. Why? Y'all are freaking stupid. Stupid! Nate and Christina gets talked to by Camilla and 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 Camilla bamboozles them into thinking that they should not put them up. What the fuck is wrong with these people? I do not understand what is wrong with these people. Like what the hell? They clearly told 
told you today, Christina, that they did not care about throwing away your token. They kept blaming you. Camilla blames everybody under the fucking sun but herself for her own actions. And y'all end up throwing in Amanda and Nelson. Y'all from the same show. Y'all supposed to be riding with each other. It's always the rookies versus the veterans. And y'all play both vet rookie sets. Devin and Cheyenne and, 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 and Nelson and Amanda. And y'all throw them up against Kellyanne and Jamie. Like, that was so... Wow! Nobody on the veteran team cares about Nate and Christina. They don't. Like, I can't believe these people just that they don't watch the fucking show. Like, that was the dumbest fucking thing that they could have done. That made no sense to me. Like, no sense whatsoever. No sense whatsoever. Like... I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't understand that. I just couldn't, like, I can understand Sarah putting bananas in. Fuck friendship, like, this is about money. Like, at the end, at the very, very end, you know what I'm saying? But, like, at the end of the day, I would rather go against Nelson and Amanda than bananas and Sarah any day. Like, what are we talking about? Like, I don't know. Nelson and Nate don't know what the fuck they're doing, and they got bamboos. What do y'all think about the challenge? What do y'all think about what's happening? What do y'all think? What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Leave your comments below the video and let me know. I'm so sad Nelson is gone. Please put his Instagram information below, because I have to contact the brother. This is Explain to the people that weren't able to understand your history with your sister, if you can give us a little brief synopsis of how you came to meet and how that all worked out for the show. Okay, yeah, I met Asia when I was about 15. I was about to turn. I, I was trying to hurt I, you. All I did was, I came, sorry. I didn't want to be done. I was so hungry. There was everything else. Right, I didn't want to be done. I was so hungry. 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 I was so hungry.